answer brings a new question. You start having questions that you never even imagined <laughs> when you rub up against reality and you really start to see it. You have questions that you can't even voice now. You have questions that you can't imagine. I think I had a chemistry class. I think it was chemistry. It may have been physics or something like that, but one of those things. And I would start talking and asking questions in there, and they would just look at me like, what in the hell is he talking about? But then as the teachers got to know me, they start saying, wow, oh yeah. But the questions came because I had all these answers, which made all of the rules that applied normally no longer valid. You're going to always get questions. Every answer provides another question, always. So when you touch something, you touch it, you say, wow, there's another question. Ultimately, what makes you return to the source and nestle within the source, that which you call God, or all that is, or the creator, or whatever all those words are that we have for it. And then we start to wrestle with the questions of God, the questions that are God's. And it gets real complicated. <laughs> gets very complicated. This is the kind of experience that you want to have. This is the kind of experience that you have to move into so that you start having experiences that are unusual like this. But first we have to move past our minds. That is most important. That's why, you know, I'm always getting on people's case about do you work with the mind crap? So you can let that go. Because if every time you sit to meditate, or every time in your daily life you are creating, you are entertaining thoughts that have nothing to do with the truth or the reality, you never get past that. Every time you sit down, you're thinking about blah, 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 normal everyday stuff. You're still dealing with surface stuff. You have to learn to deal with stuff that is beneath the surface. If all the lights go out in this house, you don't run through the house dealing with the bulbs. You know that the source that causes the light to burn, that something has changed in that source. It has to do with the electricity. It is the thing that is behind the obvious. It is the thing that cannot be seen that gives the force, that gives the, the life to your life. Okay. It's that stuff that makes it happen. So if we never get past the mundane, if we never get past all the assumptions we make, well, let's ask a question. How can you... Find an answer when you already have an answer, <laughs> when you've already practiced assuming. We assume, we assume, we assume, we assume, we assume. I had a session uh, yesterday with uh, some, a new group of people, uh, and one of the persons in the group insisted that her assumption was correct. And she would even say, it is my assumption, but I claim this assumption. She said, no, you can't do it. If you want to know what's true, how can you do that? You simply remain ignorant Okay, if you do that. That's just the rule. So if we really want to know how this thing works, and it is what I do is to help you to understand, not do it for you, not do anything for, for you, because that way it doesn't work. It just doesn't work. Every person has to get smacked. And if you get smacked and you make the right decision, things change. 
if you get smacked and all you do is sit down and wallow in having been smacked, then you will never learn. And stuff keeps going down, 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 because now you're creating down, 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 down. Where is the bottom? I don't know. You know? I don't know. One of the things I said yesterday is, if you've had geometry, you're familiar with theorems and proofs. You have to take the theorem and come to your proofs. If you never take the theorem and apply it as it should be applied, if all you do is wallow in it, something goes wrong, bam. Something else is going wrong, bam. Something else is going wrong, bam, because all you're doing is proving the law in one direction. But we only do that when we deal with the light bulbs. The electricity goes off in the house, the whole house goes into darkness. We run through the house changing light bulbs. It doesn't work. The electricity has to come on, all right? Or we will sit and try and we will clean one room and expect a clean house. No, you only have one room. That is dealing with an issue as an issue and not coming underneath to the forces that supply the energy to the whole thing. Bang. If you come underneath, you can clean the whole house easily, very easily. If you want to cure, kill a cancer, cut off that which feeds the cancer. It's about that with everything. It's that which runs beneath and not all that stuff that we get into. You see, so what we have to learn to do is to have, is to draw all of this stuff so that we can see. That's what I promised initially. I promised initially, I will help you do this. Key word, help, <laughs> and you, <laughs> which means you <laughs> have got to do something. You, you understand what I'm saying? And if we don't do that as learners, as then no, no, then we aren't learners. Let me not say that. We this world seems so real to us. Well, it has a certain reality. has a certain obvious reality. But underneath that reality is where the truth lies. It's not, we want to, oh, this is happening, that's happening, the other's happening, and I say, yeah. Well, for a long period of time now, I've not said anything. I've just kind of said, hmm. Okay. The reason is so that we begin to apply the theorem without my saying anything because what does that mean? Discipline to deal with what's here. That same thing happens in here. That's why it's important at this point, at this level, to bring everything into sharp focus. Because when you get to that point, the energy that, that it takes, the energy will rise and it comes into here. And so it gets there. All you have to do is focus it. Whatever you focus it on, in any way that you focus it, that's what will be. Okay, that's what will be. So it's just a matter of your everyday practice to do a certain thing. It's nothing special. You just pay attention to what you're doing. That's, that's all. It's in everyday life. That's what you have to do. Thank you.